I want to be fully Trinitarian, right? And so when I talk about theological anthropology, I'm talking about the work of God the Creator. When I talk about Jesus, I'm talking about the modeling of all this stuff in, in Christ's work. Um, but it's the work of the Spirit that really makes all this happen for us today. And so, uh, you know, this is the Spirit's job. The Spirit is the one that opens the door of our heart to the other. Um, and it's actually resisting the work of the Spirit to enclose ourselves in communities of sameness or, or safety in this way. Um, because the Spirit is constantly pulling us into this larger reconciled world that God has in, that God created and that God has in store for us. I'm fascinated by that. Well, how does the Spirit actually do that, right? Because Christians tend to think about the Spirit as something that you know, works with Christians, and the rest of the world doesn't know the Spirit, and so that's why the world's as screwed up as it is into all of this. Uh, but that's not at all accurate with the way Scripture portrays it, right? The Spirit is out there working in everybody. The Spirit is the breath of life that is in all of us. The fact that we're alive, that we can take a step from day to day is the Spirit's blessing on us, all of humanity, right? But uh, just as we've run and we run and hide from God, I think we run and hide from the Spirit in this way. And so even though it's in us and doing this work, we don't recognize it, we don't know what it is, we call it other things. Um, but in light of the story of who God is and what God has done, then we get the clue, oh, that's what that thing is. That thing that all of us feel. Uh, we, we all know what it looks like to experience goodness and love and openness and sacrifice and all those things. All humans know this at some level. They've tasted it somewhere, right? But most of us can't name it, can't recognize it, and certainly can't participate in it very well. And the promise of Christianity is that by opening ourselves up to this distinctive function of this third person of the Trinity, this is how we participate in this reconciliation thing. It's what God is doing. And the more we open ourselves up to it and pay attention to the, what actually is the mechanics of this, uh, that's when the that's when the transformation really takes place.